Microwave ovens, are they really bad? When it comes to food, nutrition and health, we tend to get a lot of suggestions from our nears and dears. Most of the times, we end up believing those suggestions. After all, who wants to compromise with health? But unfortunately, many a times such suggestions are unsubstantial and are based on the junk information that spreads all across social media platforms uncontrollably. Among such food and health related concerns is whether or not microwave cooking is bad for our health. So, here we try to find out an answer to this question by studying a lot of research papers from reputed journals. Let's see what studies across the world say about microwave ovens. To begin with, let's understand how microwave ovens work. Microwave ovens generate microwaves. Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiations. Now when I say electromagnetic radiations, does that remind you of something? UV rays or X-rays? Yes, X-rays and UV rays. Both are forms of electromagnetic waves and on prolonged exposure, they are hazardous to human health. And that's because they are capable of breaking chemical bonds. Unlike X-rays and UV rays, microwaves don't have enough energy to break chemical bonds. But the energy of the microwaves gives them the ability to vibrate the water molecules present in our food. The food gets heated up due to the friction generated between vibrating water molecules. So, clearly, a microwave oven works only on the basis of physical forces like vibration and friction. And heating up food in a microwave oven does not involve any chemical reaction. But, does the process of microwave cooking have adverse effects on the quality of food? We'll tell you after this quick break. Here on Sciency Soup, we give simplified scientific explanations of things that happen around us all the time. We debunk myths, misinformation and misunderstandings based on scientifically proven facts. We feed curious minds who always love to question. In short, we talk about science that matters. If you are one of those curious minds, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest to explore more. Welcome back. We have been discussing about microwave ovens today. Let's understand the effects of microwave on the quality of our food. In a study, scientists analyzed the quality of nutrient present in the food prepared by different cooking methods. They found out the following upshots. Nutrients are lost up to some extent in all the cooking methods. While minimum amount of nutrients is lost by boiling and steaming, frying and grilling cause the maximum loss of nutrients. Microwave comes somewhere between these two. In fact, in another study, researchers suggested that microwave cooking preserves most of the nutrients because of shorter cooking time and the least exposure to heat. Therefore, in terms of nutrient quality of the food, microwave cooking is better than deep frying and grilling. You may have heard that microwaves cause cancer. Do they? Let's check it out. Several research studies suggest that when meat products are deep fried or grilled, high amounts of HPAs are produced. These are chemicals that are known to cause cancer. In a study, it has been documented that the levels of HPAs produced in meat products by boiling, baking or microwaving is significantly lower than that produced during grilling and deep frying. So, microwave does produce HPAs and so does any other cooking method. But the amount of the chemical produced is extremely low and has not been linked to cancer. If you are concerned of some unknown toxins that might be present in your microwave cooked food, rest assured that toxicity studies in rats show that the rats which are fed by microwave cooked food are as healthy as those fed by foods cooked using other methods. However, we highly recommend that you should either use glass or ceramic containers in microwave ovens. Plastic containers are not safe to use in microwave ovens as they may leach out harmful chemicals which can cause cancer and other health problems. This was all about the quality of food that is cooked in microwave ovens. But what if we get exposed to the microwaves while cooking food in a microwave oven? Before we answer this question, let me remind you that as always, in the description of this video, you can find the links of the primary sources of information that we have provided in this video. 
Remember, before believing any video that you watch, look out for references. If there are no references, there are chances that the video may just be a cooked up story for publicity. Coming back to the question, microwaves can heat body tissue the same way as they heat food. Long term exposure to these radiations can cause serious burns. But this can only be possible when the door of your oven is faulty. Microwaves are generated in the oven only when the door is shut properly and the oven is turned on. Good quality microwave ovens do not leak. These ovens are designed such that the microwaves are contained inside the oven. You may have noticed that a microwave oven does not turn on if the door of the oven is not closed properly. Or it turns off if you suddenly open the door while the oven is still in operation. It is important to use only those microwave ovens which have a quality check certificate. In case you find out that the auto cut of your microwave oven has stopped working, it's time that you chuck it off from your kitchen and get a new one. To conclude, there is no scientific evidence that microwave ovens are bad. Hope this video has cleared all your doubts about microwave ovens. Now you can start enjoying microwave cooked food without worrying and try out new recipes. Let us know in the comments if you have any doubts. Like this video if it helped you in getting rid of any misconception about microwave ovens. Share this video with your family and friends, especially those who think that microwave ovens are bad. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet and press the bell icon to get notified every time we publish a new video. We'll keep bringing science to you in very simple language because if science is not your cup of tea, here comes your bowl of sciencey soup. We will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Take care and stay curious.